Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to have a look at mythic raiding. This is the question that I've got a lot from a lot of people. A lot of people are doing heroic content, a lot of people are doing mythic plus high content. And they're asking me, how do I get into mythic raiding? What do I need? It feels so hard. I've seen the videos. My guild just started doing mythics and I can't pass the first boss. Uh, we can't kill like we can't clear the heroic and things like that. How do I step up? How do I join a new team? Do I leave the guild? How do I apply to a new guild? What would a new guild? What would the mythic guild would be looking from me in order for them to accept me and things like that? Uh, so this is like I said a question that I got a lot and there is multiple answers to this. And this, is this is going to be my personal opinion about this. Now, uh, the difference between like top hundred world guild and like everything else below that or there's a huge difference between a very good mythic guild and an average mythic guild and it depends it depends on basically your time constraints and uh, on how far you want to push it but i'm going to be looking at the entry level mythic progression I'm going, to, I'm going to be looking from the perspective of a raider from the perspective of a raid leader who's looking to step into the mythic content and wondering what they need to do in order to actually progress so first of all, like I said, there's the big difference between the top and mythic guild and an average mythic guild. There is a huge perception of difficulty and self-doubt that means that a lot of the heroic raiders don't feel they feel they don't want to step into the mythic or they fear stepping into the mythic content. And the funny part is that it's the same way that the mythic plus keys work. If you do a plus 10 with a crappy group or a group that doesn't know what's going on because a lot of the lower keys are the, the, the players that are going to join them are the new players maybe people who don't know their class that well they don't know the mechanics of the bosses they don't know the mechanics of trash and you're doing a plus 10 and you're like this is the hardest thing ever i could barely finish a plus 10. but at the same time if you join a group a good group that does a plus 20 you can in most cases you will see that that might be like if you're a healer. It might be easier to heal a plus 20 with a good group rather than healing a plus 10 with a crappy group. And then you get this whole perception of I couldn't even complete a plus 10. There's no way I could ever do a plus 20. There's no way I could do a plus 21. And it's basically the people around you. That's, that's what's going to determine your progression. You cannot ca carry that much. It's really hard to, depending on which role you do carrying certain groups, carrying mythics and things like that. It really does depend in a lot of scenarios, but it's all around, it's all around the, it's all based around the people that you surround yourself with. Uh, and if you feel that you, like, it's the same in Mythic Plus. It's the same in Mythic content. Like, we did Coven of Shivara in Mythic, and honestly, at the gear levels that we have right now, with the raid setup with loads of range, it was easier, or it was easier than the heroic version when it was first released. A lot of the mythic bosses are actually somewhat easier than heroic. First of all, on Taurus is supposed to be relatively easy. Like nine of the bosses out there uh, are pretty similar in difficulty levels. They're not too hard compared to what Tumas Sagaris was. Agrima and Argus are obviously the big step up for a lot of the mythic guilds. But everything besides that is not crazy difficult and a lot of the heroic guilds who are stepping into mythic could actually start progressing those bosses could actually start progressing those bosses uh, so as a mythic as a heroic raider who's looking to step into mythic content what should you be looking to do so like i said before self-doubt is a big thing and that comes from surrounding yourself with players who might not be the best or might not know the tactics and you feel and you feel you're the one who's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing better than anyone else in this heroic guild. I'm doing better logs if you're a DPS. I'm, I'm getting better logs. I'm doing mechanics properly. There's Jane and Joe who's always constantly dying and I have to rest them. And I feel that like I'm being dragged down. Like that, that can be a feeling that a lot of people might feel in their guilds. And they might want to leave. And they might want to apply. It depends on your personality. It depends on what you're looking to get out of this game. Do you want friendship? Because a lot of the heroic guilds, they don't care. Like, you know, you die all the time, just come down. Like, you know, it's all about the uh, having a friend group and things like that and enjoying the game. If you're stepping into Mythic, that kind of changes. The whole friendship takes a back seat. 
Especially if you're trying, like, unless you're doing the first two or three bosses. If you want to progress more, the whole friendship concept takes a bad backseat. The people who are constantly failing, the people who don't know mechanics, who are not playing their class properly, they should be taught about how to play properly. Like, give them resources, give them YouTube videos, give them live streams, give them class Discord links so they know uh, tips about the fights, they know tips about their class, when to use like cooldowns and things like that, and make them a better player. If they keep failing and things like that, they should be replaced. Be because as a raid leader, you will notice that your greatest resources, your greatest resource is your raiders. And replacing one or two bad players can can is is the difference between a kill. It's unbelievable. Like having eliminating your weakest links is probably one of the best way to kill bosses or to defeat bosses um but there is a couple other things that i should cover uh, before that um a difference between a really good mythic guild and a dif uh, and a difference between an average mythic guild is i believe i strongly believe is between the officer team is i strongly believe it's between the raid leaders how raid leaders react to deaths how raid leaders react to errors how they how strict they are how they analyze logs uh, their class knowledge and things like that a good raid leader can really carry a mythic guild Now if you're a raid leader who's coming in from heroic you should be looking at tactics You should be looking at what what classes are working really well. We're talking about a decent decent mythic uh, Mythic progression in the first couple of bosses. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter actually just having a decent average players Who, who know the tactics who know their class decently well is enough to kill the first few bosses um, but that's the raid leader perspective so if you're new uh, if you're a raider and you're applying for a new guild you should have a decent number of decent number of logs uh, you should be using warcraft logs if you don't know what warcraft logs are please do check them out they're a really good way to assess your ability especially for dps it's not crazy important for healers and tanks because it depends on a lot of different things and a good um, like if you're applying to a guild and their recruitment officer can like a good recruitment officer can d decide on your logs if you're a healer if you're a tank if you're doing the mechanics properly they can see if you're moving properly there's a replay section and all that there is ways to really assess your ability even if you're not doing the best hps and things like that so depending on the guild that you're applying having a clean user interface Add-ons are a big part of mythic raiding. If you don't like add-ons, you have to get over it. Add-ons are a big part of mythic raiding. Things like DBM bigwigs are essential. Are essential for mythic plus raiding. This can somewhat be cheesed by having a good, like a weak order for raids. I use this. I, I'll link my weak order that I use for the people who want to uh, do, uh, who want to use it themselves. It's from uh, Wago.io. This week aura will just show you the debuffs, the buffs or whatever that applies to you. So you don't really care about anyone else. You're just getting the most important information uh, like a couple of seconds before or just when it happens. So you see this week aura on your screen and you're like, okay, it tells you like you have a debuff, you have to move out from the group. And you move out from the, from the group. You don't even need to know the mechanics that well to kind of cheese this. Of course. If you're applying to the guild, you should know at least the basic mechanics of the boss. At least the basic mechanics of the boss. But I've said this many times. You can watch a video 20 times. You can read up about the boss 20 times. But when you actually start doing the boss, you're like, oh, okay. So that's what they meant by that. So that's what they, like, it's, it's very similar to the people who are doing coding or who are programmers. You can read about programming, uh, programming part of uh, programming mechanics and things like that like all the different aspects of programming but when you actually start to program code write your own code it's a lot different so it's I, I like to compare that in the same way that reading boss tactics is very different from actually doing the boss itself so just knowing the basic mechanics those basic mechanics are going to be your knowledge of those basic mechanics is going to be reinforced when you actually start doing the boss so you 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 learn you learn from it you adapt from it and a good weak core can really help you, and as well as that knowing your class and uh, fight tips is really important. Like I mean, it's important, but it's if you want to do really well, you should be looking at what other healers are doing, what other DPS are doing, what other tanks are doing. How are they using their cooldowns? Of course, it's not always going to work depending on the tactic that your raid leader chooses to go with, but knowing tips, knowing the talents to work really well. And again, 
workout vlogs can be really you can can be really good for this. Can be you can check out what other healers are using, what other talents they're using, what what other DPS legendaries they're using, and you can start to adapt, start to experiment with it, and see how that goes. So this has been an overview of what mitigating can be like. The biggest thing that I can, the biggest thing that I get from this video is that a lot of people who ask me, like honestly, the people who are doing like 20 plus keys in mid, 20 plus, uh, mythic plus keys, there is way more personal responsibility in like 21, 22, 23 keys that you would get in like mythic raiding. Depends on which bosses you, depending on what progress you have, but there is like doing a 21, 22, 23 key in mythic plus. You are like, I could, I could almost say you're definitely ready for Mythic Raiding. You're definitely ready for Mythic Raiding because there's way more personal responsibility in Mythic Plus than Mythic Raiding to some extent. To some extent. In Mythic Raiding, of course, there's people going to make mistakes and things like that. And you, you, you might still end up uh, killing the boss. You might still go well and things like that. In Mythic Plus, there's a lot more personal responsibility. So... Like a general consensus, if you're doing high mythic plus keys, honestly, that's a really good, that's a really good practice for mythic raiding. Uh, and a lot of people who tell me who are in, in heroic raids, who are in heroic guilds, uh, and they tell me that they they feel that, that they're not, they're better than everyone, <laughs> not better than everyone's, but they're just, you know, they're not dying as often, they're doing better logs, they're following mechanics properly and things like that. A lot of the times they are definitely ready for Mythic. And Mythic is not as hard as you might think. Especially if you surround yourself with decent players. They don't have to be world class players. Decent players. Players who have a decent understanding of their class. Basic understanding of mechanics. You will be able to get good amount of bosses down. Good amount of bosses down. And like I said, it's self-doubt. It's the perception of difficulty that comes into comes in with mythic raiding. Surrounding yourself with good players is probably one of the biggest keys to success in mythic raiding. But this has been my overview of uh, what it's like to do like top end raiding. We're not talking about top end. We're talking entry level mythic raiding. We're talking about decent uh, decent progression. We're not talking about the world first. World first, world hundred or whatever. There is a different. There is a different concepts that are needed there's different concepts in terms of personal responsibility knowing mechanics inside out contributing to the mechanics contributing to how to do the boss perfectly coming up with new ways to play your cl certain uh, your class in certain ways not caring about logs if you're a healer focusing on actually uh, keeping everyone alive and things like that but we're not talking about the top end mythic rating we're talking about entry mythic uh, rating and i feel just having decent logs, having a clean UI, uh, knowing basic tactics, knowing your class, knowing uh, fight tips, like a boss fight tips, when to use your cooldowns, and of course, avoiding bad mechanics, avoiding that fire on the ground. <laughs> Those are the keys, and believe me, mythic rating is not as hard as you might think. If you're a somewhat decent player in heroic, if you're doing high mythic plus keys, that's already an indication that you are definitely ready for that uh, step. You just need to make sure that <laughs> you can show up. That's one of the most important things. That you can show up during mythic raids. That you have the time available. That's one of the biggest keys that I actually forgot to talk about. Uh, hopefully this has provided uh, some insight into uh, raiding. So hopefully this has maybe calmed some people down about how crazy hard mythics can be. They're really, they're really not that hard if you're doing... If you're doing pretty well in heroic, if you're doing pretty well in mythic plus keys and things like that, I think you should really explore the concept of stepping into mythic because mythic at the end of the day can be really extremely fun, especially if you're a competitive type of player who wants to get the boss down and you want to optimize and it can make you a, a better player because it, it will kind of like you'll explore concepts that you never have like timing your cooldowns to the perfection and things like that and it'll make you a better player over time. Thank you guys for watching this little video. Let me know how you feel about this. Let me know how you feel about uh, progressing into Mythic. Or if you're a heroic raider and just looking to start Mythic progression. If this helped you in any way. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.